In many sports, heart rate monitors are still the main tool that athletes use to make sure they're training in the correct zones. And used correctly, they are remarkably effective. So here's what you need to know. Yeah, now if you don't own one, then don't let price put you off, because this is probably the cheapest training aid that you can buy. It might actually be as simple, if you already own a Garmin, for example, of just buying an Ant Plus connected strap that will allow you to train with heart rate. To make the best use of your heart rate monitor, you need to establish what your maximum heart rate is using a ramp test or what your threshold heart rate is. And no, 220 beats a minute minus your age just won't quite cut it. Now we have a video of how to do this which you can find a link to in the description below this video. Now, once you've done that, you can work out what your five heart rate zones are. Now we tend to use Dr. Andrew Coggan's five heart rate zones. Again, a video of which you can also find a link to in the description below. Your heart rate generally shows the level of effort that you're putting in, but there are one or two exceptions to this, and one of them is lag. So your heart rate doesn't respond quite as quickly as your effort levels can. So for example, in a sprint, which is of course a maximum effort, it's also so short that your heart rate won't have time to change appropriately before you stop sprinting. And equally, for an anaerobic capacity effort, so like a one minute max interval on a short climb, it's also so hard, but so short, that your heart rate by the end of it might not even be as high as it would on a longer, less intense interval. Now it's also very important that you remember that there's also heart rate lag on longer intervals too. And by that we mean, at the start of an effort, can actually take your heart rate a little bit of time to kind of match exactly what you're doing. So for example, say your training plan dictates you need to ride 20 minutes at between 170 and 176 beats a minute. Don't expect your heart rate to get there within 20 seconds. So give yourself between three and five minutes for your heart rate to reach that particular zone. And that's why warm-ups are so essential. Indeed. You also need to remember that your heart rate can be affected by outside factors. So for example, your core body temperature, your hydration status, caffeine intake. Yeah, humidity, uh, altitude, and also fatigue can yeah. play a part. So the more that you use your heart rate monitor, the more you'll get to understand what affects it and by how much. And I know from experience that very hot conditions, particularly riding indoors in a turbo trainer, riding at threshold, my heart rate can be elevated by as much as 10 beats. Yeah, and on the flip side of that, I know that when I'm fatigued, my heart rate can be about 10 beats per minute lower than when I'm fresh, which is a really key point, actually, in that if you're constantly trying to get what you think is the right heart rate, but you're already tired, then you can end up putting yourself in a bit of a box. Hashtag know your conditions and know your beats. Another great thing to use your heart rate monitor for is to monitor your fatigue levels. So first thing in the morning, as soon as you wake up, you check your heart rate. Then on the mornings where your heart rate's slightly higher than others, that's a very good sign that you might be slightly fatigued or you're on the verge of getting ill. In either case, you can just adjust your training so that you look after yourself. Similarly, on recovery rides like this one, your heart rate monitor will tell you if you're going too hard. All right, mate. Come out for a ride, Si. Recovery day. Re recovery day. So, to effectively use your heart rate monitor, you're gonna make sure you establish your training zones by either a threshold test or a max heart rate test. And then, you can work yourself out a nice training plan that really maximizes your time. And finally, you can also use your heart rate monitor to keep a daily check on your recovery. Now, for a video on how to test your threshold, click just up here, and for our training playlist, click just down here, and to subscribe to GCN, I was gonna ask you to click on Sai, but it's clearly on a recovery day today, so click on my Garmin. <laughs>